There's a lot of good things that come from monogamy, especially from a society standpoint, right? Like we are in a space now, especially in the Western world, where monogamy is going away and there's a lot more open relationships. I went to this group, this men's group one time. It was like this men's like becoming a stronger man type of program, which yes, there are lots of programs like that out there that tons of men go to. And I went to one. I've been to actually many of these things. And I went to this one and there was this guy there. He was from San Francisco and he was married. And his wife was, they, they were in an open relationship. They're in an open marriage. His wife was running around town, banging every dude she could. And he was like, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, open relation, open marriage, right? And I, I spent, we ended up like really connecting at the retreat that we were at. And I was talking to him and I was like, I was like, I already know what's going on with you. And he's like, what, what? You know, and I'm like, you're scared because you want something that you're afraid of wanting because you've been told that it's bad. And he was like, he's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, you know exactly what I mean. And he was like, it took him a day. Like he had to go and sleep. And then the next day he came to me and he's like, he's like, yeah, you're right, Matt. You're right. I want a traditional relationship. I don't want to be in an open relationship. I don't want to see other people. I don't want to date other people. I just want to be with my wife and I want her to just be with me. And I know that our community, that he was a part of this community in San Francisco where everybody was in open marriages and they frowned upon monogamous relationships and they talked smack about monogamous traditional relationships. Like, it's, oh, it's, you know, these, these like lower people are into these traditional relationships type of thing, right? And it's one of those things where I don't think there's anything wrong with it, you know? And, and from a society standpoint, I think it can be really, really healthy. He ended up, just in case you were wondering, he ended up getting divorced to his wife and because he, he went back home to her and he was like, look, this is what I want. I just want to be with you and I just want you to be with me. And she said, I'm not willing to do that. And so he ended up getting divorced to her and, you know, and, and he's much happier for it because now he's not living a lie anymore where he's being forced to live in an open situation when he wants something monogamous. I think that maybe there's definitely a social conditioning aspect to our monogamy that we have. And I also think that there's a lot of societal benefits to it because being in monogamous relationships makes it so that the playing field is a lot more even and more people can get into real relationships that they actually want. I think it's healthier for a lot of women because women end up having a father figure who's there to, theoretically speaking, she can have a father figure. She's more likely to have a father figure who's there, who's helping raise that child. I mean, it's possible that she has multiple father figures that help raise her child for her. And I think that for men, it's really especially beneficial because in the situation that we're in right now, what we have is, is a small, very, very small group of men that are having ridiculous amounts of sex with women right now. And these men are hooking up with tons and tons and tons of women because they're really good looking and they're on Tinder and they're swiping right and every girl's swiping right on them. And so all these women are all competing for these guys and these guys. And so like regular guys that used to back in the day have better luck with getting into a real relationship, a lot of them are completely celibate now. So it's getting to the fact, getting to the point where we're almost at 25%, a quarter of all men who are completely celibate. And so the stat was, I think it was like 23% of men haven't had sex in the last year. And that that's the standard for celibacy. And so it's, it's getting to that point, right? And so there's a lot of benefit to having kind of monogamous relationships from a society standpoint because men are more likely to be emotionally healthy and happy and women are more likely to have like real relationships with men. And, you know, and, and so, I mean, there's, there, we'll see what ends up coming from the situation that we're in right now. I mean, who knows? Who knows where this is going to go? <laughs> I mean, 
it's it's only crazy time right now as far as dating is concerned in our world. But my suggestion is that you put yourself in the best situation that you can. If you're not about monogamy, then don't get into a monogamous relationship. And if you want open stuff, just be open and honest about it. And that's totally okay. There's big communities out there that are poly communities that are all about people banging each other and whatever. And I have friends that are in some of those communities and that's great and whatever, you know, it's, it's not a problem. Just make sure that you are being honest about everything. That's, that's all that matters.